So you want to create an index, a list of keywords that are sorted alphabetically along with the page numbers where they can be found. Well, here's how you can do it in Microsoft Word. As an example, I have a short story that I want to add an index to. An index is often found at the end of a document. So I've left a spot here. The first thing you need to do is mark your entries. Now entries are keywords that you want to list in your index. Word will then add the page numbers next to that entry automatically. To add an entry, go to References and select Mark Entry. With the Mark Index Entry window open to the side, go through the document and find an entry. I'll select Pete as an example and click back on the Mark Index Entry window. The entry will then be populated as the main entry. For the other options, the standard is the current page meaning the current page will be listed alongside this entry in the index. You can change this to be the page range instead if you want. Choosing the cross-reference option lets you link this to another entry. So for example, I could cross-reference and call this C parrot, as P is a parrot. You can select the bold and or italic checkboxes below to format the page numbers appearing in the index. You then hit mark to add this entry. Or if you want to mark all instances where this entry appears in your document, you can select Mark All. I'll select Mark All. When you mark entries, you can see this strange marking appear on the document. This represents paragraph marks and other hidden symbols. There will also be a special field added after each entry. To hide these markings, go to Home and select this button here or use this shortcut. With your entries marked, you can now add in your index. Simply select the area you want to add your index. Again, this usually is at the end of the document. Then go to References, Insert Index. You can adjust the index format in the new window before inserting it. I prefer to use the indented type with a single column. I also like to align the page numbers to the right. If you want to adjust the font size and type used, you can click on Modify to adjust these settings. Alternatively, you can use some of Word's inbuilt formats from this drop down menu to quickly change the style of the index. Once happy with the appearance, click OK. You should see your index appear. Pretty easy, eh? Just something that you need to be aware of from this point forward is that if you proceed to add more entries to your index, you will see the index does not actually automatically update to include these in the list. To see the updates, you need to update the index by right clicking on it and selecting update field. You can also do this by selecting the index and going to references and update index. Now the updates will appear. And before I finish, let me share a quick tip if you're wanting to make minor tweaks to your entries. Let's say you want to adjust the wording of an entry in the index. For example, I want to capitalize the M in the monkey's entry so that it matches the style of the rest of my entries. To do this, I'll find the entry in the document and show all the hidden paragraph and symbol markings. The wording that appears after the XE inside the speech marks represents the content that appears in the index for that entry. All I have to do is tweak this and then update the index to see the new change. And that is how you can create an index in Word. Since you're interested in Microsoft Word, why not check out my other tutorial on how to easily create a table of contents in Microsoft Word. And I'll see you there.